Of course. I know you've been private about your past. It's okay. Everyone has secrets. All right. Who is Dexter? I still don't know. He remains pretty elusive and mysterious to me. But I think he's someone who people root for because of the unique responsibility he's taken for his dark side. It's been almost 10 years. Dexter was taking down, you know, really despicable, mostly evil people. And he's like charming as he does it. He has a direct connection to the audience. They feel like they are in his head. You side with him. It's not just black and white. There's so much gray and there's so much nuance. People who love the show think are eager to hear from him again. Stick to your routine. Routine, routine, routine. He's regained a control over his life when we meet him here having completely abstained from monstrous behavior. He's really trying to have a normal life. Angela is the chief of police. I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle, sir. And Dexter's girlfriend. To me, he's just this normal, easygoing guy. Let's not talk about work. Let's dance. Dexter's got a new name and new life, but he's unchecked, unbalanced, with no code. And suddenly, Dexter's son shows up. Are you Dexter Morgan? He's kind of right back where he was. In a more chaotic way than ever. It's really intense. There's a lot of twists and turns. It has been so much fun. That's great fraud, wonderful writing. As soon as I got the scripts, I was definitely obsessed. It's just a ride. It's like a really wild ride. It feels epic. I think everyone's going to love it. It's exciting and surreal, and it's way outside the box. Life is short, dude.